Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this mini flower. For this video, you're going to need a hook of your choice and a yarn of your choice. The yarn size that I'm using is category 4 yarn and the hook size I'm using is a 3.75mm crochet hook. This video is going to be for absolute beginners, so I will be going slow and showing you how to do each stitch step by step. Now that's all of the way, let's begin. To start off, we're going to go ahead and grab our yarn, and we're going to go ahead and find the end of our yarn, which is this part right here. And we're going to go ahead and grab our index finger and our middle finger, and we're going to make a magic ring. To make a magic ring, you're going to get the end of your yarn, and you're going to place it in front of your index finger like so, and hold the yarn down with your thumb. Then you're going to go ahead and grab the longer strand of yarn, and you are going to go ahead and wrap it around your fingers like so, so you have this little mini cross formation at the top. Now you're going to go ahead and grab your hook, and you're going to place it in front of the very first loop right here, only the first loop. Then you're going to go ahead and grab the yarn that's behind that loop like so, and you're going to pull it through until you have this little loop on your hook. Once you have that little loop on your hook, we're going to go ahead and chain one. To chain one, you're going to want to wrap your yarn around your hook like so. Turn your hook around and pull it through. And there you have your magic ring. Now you can go ahead and take the loop off of your fingers. And make sure you don't pull the small strand of yarn just yet because if you pull on it, then the center loop tightens and you don't want it to tighten just yet. So make sure you leave the strand of yarn alone for now. And now we're going to start working on the petals. So we're going to now start working on our petals. We've already done our magic ring and we have chained one. And now we're going to go ahead and do a chain of three more. So go ahead and wrap your yarn around your hook like that. Turn your hook around and pull it through like so. We're going to do that two more times. Wrap your yarn around your hook like so. Turn your hook around and pull it through. One more time. Wrap your yarn around your hook like so. Turn your hook around and pull it through. Now you should have a chain of four. Once you have your chain of four, we're going to go ahead and do a treble crochet. Now to do a treble crochet, we are going to go ahead and wrap our yarn around our hook twice. Like so. So you have three loops on your hook. Let me show you again. So you have that one loop that's already on your hook. You're going to wrap your yarn around twice until you have three loops on your hook. And it would be easier if you hold it down with your thumb because now we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into this middle loop right here. So insert your hook into this middle loop, grab some yarn, and pull it back up. Now you should have four loops on your hook. Now you're going to go ahead and yarn over, pull through two, and then you're going to go ahead. <clears throat> you should have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, you should have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over one more time and pull through the last two. And now you've just done a treble crochet. And we're going to do two more treble crochets. So again, we already have that one loop that's already on our hook. And we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook twice, like so, until you have three loops on your hook. You're going to hold all three loops down with your thumb. And you're going to insert your hook through the middle loop, like so. Once you've insert your hook, inserted your hook through the middle loop, you're going to go ahead and grab yarn and pull it back up through the loop. Now you should have four loops on your hook. Now you're going to go ahead and grab your yarn and pull it through the first two. Now you should have three loops on your hook. You're going to go ahead and grab your yarn again and pull it through the next two. You should have two loops on your hook and you're going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through the last two. We're going to do one more treble crochet for this petal. So we're going to go ahead and yarn over twice. Hold it down with your thumb. And you're going to insert your hook through the center loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. You should have three loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. 
you should have two loops on your hook, grab yarn and pull through two. And now we're gonna go ahead and close off this petal by chaining four. So we've done our three treble crochets and now we're gonna go ahead and chain four. Again, to chain, we're gonna just yarn over and pull through the loop that's already on our hook. Now you have that one chain, we're gonna do three more. So go ahead and yarn over and pull that yarn through that loop that's already on your hook. We're gonna do two more, so yarn over Turn your hook around and pull through. One more time, yarn over. Turn your hook around and pull through. Now you have four chains. And now you're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into your middle loop. So to slip stitch, you're just going to go ahead and insert your hook into the center loop. You're gonna go ahead and grab yarn. And you're gonna pull up. And you should see that you have two loops on your hook. Now you're going to take that loop that's already on your hook, that's right there, the first one that's near the hook. You're going to take that same loop and you're going to pull it through the loop that's right next to it. And now you've done your first petal. It might look a little weird, but when you push it together, which might be a little difficult right now, you get a nice looking petal. You can push it together at the end, it, it'll be a lot easier. but. If it looks a little weird, you can just push it together and it will look like a normal petal. And we're gonna do a total of five of these petals. I'm gonna show you how to do um, a few more. And now let's start on our next one. So again, to start off our petal, we're gonna go ahead and chain four. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one more time, yarn over, pull through. You have a chain of four, and now we're gonna go ahead and do three treble crochets. So just like how we've been doing it for our past petal, you're gonna yarn over twice. So you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna hold all three loops down with your thumb. You're gonna insert your hook through the center loop, grab yarn, pull up, now you have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. You should have three loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. You should have two loops on your hook. Grab yarn and pull through the last two. And now we're gonna go ahead and do two more. So yarn over twice. Hold your yarn that's on your hook down with your thumb. Insert your hook through the loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You should have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. And grab yarn, pull through two. We're gonna do one more for this petal. So yarn over twice. Hold your yarn down with your thumb. Insert your hook through the loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, turn your hook around, pull through two. Grab yarn and pull through two. Now you have your three treble crochets for your next petal. Now we're gonna go ahead and close this petal off by chaining four again. So go ahead and yarn over, turn your hook around and pull through, yarn over, turn your hook around, pull through, yarn over, turn your hook around, pull through, one more time, yarn over, turn your hook around and pull through. Now you should have a total of five chains, excuse me, four chains. You should have a total of four chains. And now you're gonna go ahead and once again, slip stitch into your center loop. So to slip stitch again, insert your hook through the loop, grab yarn, pull up. You should have two loops on your hook. The same, the same loop that you have on your hook already, you're gonna pull it through the next one, like so. Now we're gonna just repeat that again and I'm gonna show you how to do one more petal and then you guys can do the last two by rewinding the video and watching it again. But um, I'm gonna show you this one last petal. So again, we're gonna start off with a chain of four. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And yarn over, pull through. Now we're gonna go ahead and do eight treble crochet 
Again, wrap your yarn around your hook twice. You should have three loops on your hook. Hold all the loops down with your thumb. Insert your hook through the center loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You should have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. You're gonna do um, a treble crochet two more times. So wrap your yarn around your hook like so. You should have three loops on your hook. Hold all three loops down. Insert your hook through the loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You should have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. And grab yarn, pull through two. We're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over twice. Hold all of the loops down. Insert your hook through the center loop. Grab yarn, pull up. You should have four loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two and grab yarn and pull through two. Now you're gonna go ahead and chain four, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. Once you have your four chains, go ahead and slip stitch into your center loop by inserting your hook through the loop, grabbing yarn, pulling up, and that same yarn that you pulled up, you're just gonna pull it through the loop that's right next to it, like so. And now you can just rewind the video and watch how to do each of the petals again. And the repeat is just going to be to do a chain of four and then three treble crochets and then another chain of four, slip stitch and then repeat. So go ahead and do your last two petals. Again, you can rewind the video to watch how to do it again slowly. And I will meet you once I'm done and I will show you how to finish it off. I am nearing the end of the flower. I am almost done with my fifth and final petal and I've done my chain of, chain of four. Now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my middle circle. So insert your hook, grab yarn, pull up. You should have two loops on your hook and get that same loop that's near your hook and pull it through the one right next to it to make a slip stitch. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and chain one so wrap your yarn and pull through tightly and you want to pull that loop slightly and now you're going to go ahead and find your small strand of yarn that i told you earlier not to pull on because now we're going to go ahead and tighten up this middle circle so i know that this flower looks a little bit weird and um it doesn't really look like a flower but now we're going to go ahead and find the small strand of yarn and we're just gonna pull on it. And when you pull on it, the center loop tightens. So just go ahead and pull on it however much you need. And after you think that you have it tight enough, you can go ahead and cut this loop of yarn that we um, loosened up. So just cut a small strand of yarn and just pull it through like so and now you have your mini flower so just go ahead and sort of um, mold it into like a flatter shape and there you have your mini flower i hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did please like share comment and subscribe and if you would like me to make any other beginner tutorial videos please let me know in the comments below and I will try to make one as soon as possible. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!